Hi everybody. Welcome to Daryl Goes Shopping. And that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been hitting the bins, which is the Seattle Goodwill outlet store. Everything is $1.79 a pound, uh, or at least the textiles are. And that's what I go and take a look for. Except for sometimes I find kind of funny things like this. <laughs> Okay, I'm not even going to go any further with explaining that. <laughs> so, um, I have kind of a mishmash of things to show you today, and so um, we'll get on with it. Um, there wasn't the best selection of things, I didn't think, this time. So, um, let's get started. I spent uh, $59.00. And I got 77 pounds of stuff. What was 77 pounds? I don't know. <laughs> but I got this awesome Lululemon shirt. I'll tell you what, the outfit I'm wearing right now covers the cost of the whole bin trip. So I guess I should feel pretty good about that. So check this out. It's got a split back. And you could do a, um, you know, tie it up sort of thing. But I kind of like to do the regular half tuck. And then these awesome pants here, these fitness pants, are from Athleta. And they fit exactly the way I was hoping that they would um, with this. Uh, I was hoping they looked like they'd be short, and but they're actually a 7 8 length. So... I was really hoping that they would work the way they did, so win. <laughs> so after getting a million dresses the last several trips, um, I only got this one. And this is just an Amazon um, or fast fashion dress. Um, I at least stopped its trajectory to the landfill. And uh, this is really definitely what I'm going to call a moo moo. <laughs> so I belt it, or I um, I tied a knot in the in the hemline of it, so it would give it a little bit of shape. And I've just kept my leggings on uh, since they match. <laughs> It's a great dress. I tried it out yesterday when it was a lot hotter out and uh, definitely a, a dress that you can run around in with not much on underneath it and, and you know, survive the heat. This is an elbow length sleeve top. This is from Everlane. So my husband and I are going on a cruise to Alaska soon, and so I've been looking at the bins for things that um, we don't generally have in our wardrobe, like silk undershirts. So that's what this is. And this is from Eddie Bauer, and it will be just lightweight, and we'll take it along just in case. It's not going to get very cold there. Um, I always... <laughs> Since we live in Seattle, we have share a lot of the same uh, fauna and flora that you find in Alaska. And so um, it's kind of like going up to our northern backyard. <laughs> um, so we pretty much know what to expect. It'll be just really nice to go and relax and, and then wear some of the clothes I don't ever get to wear. <laughs> That's what's fun. So this one is from REI and I got this one for my husband. And um, I got him a couple of other pieces too for this trip um, that are just really easy to pack. Um, this is a, um, an Under Armour men's um, windbreaker. So that'll pack up really nice and easy. And a couple, a pair of new with tags, um, Old Navy active shorts. And a pair of uh, balance collection 
um, fitness shorts again with the reflective strip pockets. And um, these that I really like, oh, they looked really good on him too. These are um, from Adidas and he has a pair of shorts like these. And these are a long, rather skinny leg pant. Um, so these will be just great for um, cruising around and, and, uh, and layering for the weather changes. So, and that said, I got this, I thought I needed it, a hat. <laughs> this is from Champion. I said on a video a while back that if I saw any more of these t-shirts from The Gap, I was going to grab them, and so I did. I got one, this white one, which of course you know this is my uniform. <laughs> and, and another one in this pale pink color. And, you know, they're not a big deal, but when you find a t-shirt that fits, that just goes with everything, grab it. Makes sense. And likewise, for these Caslon t-shirts, these tank tops, and uh, the ones by Splendid as well. Uh, they're just a classic ribbed tee. And um, with a tensile elastane blend. And this is just another classic white t-shirt from Adrian Vitadini. And uh, this uh, fabric is just wonderful. Um, I really like this one. I like the fit. Um, I'll probably take this on vacation. Just a good base piece. Okay, a couple of kind of middle of the road pieces, but they work and they, um, uh, and I can wear them, uh, just about anywhere. The shorts are from a brand I've never heard of. It's called Opihi, O-P-I-H-I. And they're, they're interesting. Um, they have an elasticized waist or a, a panel here of elastic. And I don't know if someone added that or if it looks like that's how they came. <laughs> I hope they're not maternity pants, you know, for if they are, there's not much room there for a baby bump. And then this top is from Loft. And I like the drape going on. And, um, and I, of course, love the color. I love this terracotta color or this clay color. This is one of the favorite pieces I got. Um, it's from uh, American Eagle, Airy, A-E-R-I-E. -E. So very much a, a junior brand. Um, and which I most decidedly am not, but you know, I don't care. I love this, this uh, fuzzy exterior sweatshirt. And then I love these side slits here, if you see those. And I love this color. Win-win. So, uh, cashmere piece. I got a couple this trip and I'm going to really appreciate them. Um, I may take this one to Alaska with me just because I like this color. Um, it's a, a generous cut, a large size, and um, I'm fine with that. I like a nice loose cashmere piece. Nice color. Got a couple others. I'll show you these. I got one for my husband. And this is pretty awesome because the brand is uh, Joe's A Bank. And uh, they're a pricey brand. My guess is that this cashmere sweater was probably $400, $500. And I'll run some comps. I did just did this yesterday. So um, I'm working at get, uh, keeping my 
gets my um, schedule going good. <laughs> uh, so I'll let you know what the price point was on this or what, um, uh, or what you might find it for now. Anyway, it's beautiful, beautiful cashmere. And then this is a piece from, um, it's Alfani, I believe. Yeah, Macy's. And um, it this has a wide neckline and a generous fit and a bracelet length sleeve. And I know you can't really see what it is. <laughs> I also got um, another pair of Lululemon pants. And you know, technically I can get these on. <laughs> They're a size four, but they are pretty snug. And so I'm just gonna sell them along with some of my other um, Lululemon stuff on eBay. And I'm gonna put them in a lot. And so I'll put all the size four stuff together and sell it all um, as one bundle. So this is the Alfani cashmere sweater, and I wanted to give you a better idea of what it looked like. Um, it's an, uh, a larger size than what I would buy, um, and uh, but I like the oversized fit. So um, it also has two holes in it. One is obviously not a, a, from a moth. I think it must have gotten snagged on something. So that'll be pretty easy to fix. And now I found another one too in the back, but pretty easy to repair and um, see the generous, generous fit here. I like an off the shoulder. So this is a top from Zara and it is knit. And I honestly have to say, I'm not sure if it's a women's top or if it's a men's top. Um, I had thought it was a women's top because it was pink, but the fit on it is kind of odd, in my opinion. Let's see, I'll show you this. Just a, hmm, it's kind of cuter like this. Okay, so let's go with this. <laughs> These pants are from Dear John. And they're kind of a mid-priced -priced, uh, pant. They, these probably ran maybe $60, $70. And I like, um, as I've alluded to before, I like to roll my shorts up so they are short. <laughs> um, so what caught my eye with these was the, um, uh, the color, of course. And the, uh, the loft draped tee is a really good match with these as well. So let me show you a couple other things I got. I had high hopes for this. It's from Deletta, which is anthropology. And has an inset sleeve. It's just kind of, I think what it is is that the silver, the fabric doesn't, do me any favors it i it doesn't look good on me so um the cut was fine so someone else can enjoy this boop <laughs> um another lululemon piece and this is cute yes but it's not cute on me this this corset look is not my friend <laughs> And here's the, and this is a size eight, and I will list this with my Lululemon stuff. And then I thought these shorts from Amazon would be, you know, fairly current looking, um, but really they're not. Um, they are, they fit in the waist, and but they poof out in the hips. But I did like the color. I had hopes for them. <laughs> so, th 
things were looking pretty bleak at the bins and so I was forced to go and look at the at the uh, dishware and the and the uh, sundry items <laughs> which usually I don't even get to because there's so many textiles that that pretty much consumes me. Um, but I did run into these cute bowls. <laughs> Aren't they nice? I don't even know what the brand is. They're a no brand. They probably came from Ikea. So there's the little, like the soup bowls and then, or the salad bowls or whatever, cereal maybe. <laughs> and then these are the bigger ones. <laughs> I left the dinner plates behind. <laughs> we use this size plate a lot. This is the size plate we use for our dinner plates. I just like the pastel colors. They're made out of plastic. Um, so they're probably pretty indestructible. <laughs> and now I can't find my other dishware too. I've got three serving spoons too. <laughs> Let's hear it for the bins. <laughs> so this is what's exciting to me. I got these. Aren't they sweet? Ugh. Now, and I've seen people wear these around. So I don't know if they're a, a slipper or if they're a slide. But what I do appreciate is that they have this nice strap so that they don't flap around all over the place. Ugh sheepskin. And no flaws. They're in great shape. I'll probably take a a toothbrush to them um, and kind of clean them up a little bit. <laughs> I'd love to show you all of these on my feet, but I've discovered I can't really do that without just taking my phone down and doing this bit. These are um, made in Italy and they are Jeepers, I don't even know what they're called. Gamma light. Oh. It, gamma. G-O-M-M-A light. Gamma. And, I, you know, I picked them up kind of on a whim. But when I put them on, they, they kind of match my skin tone a bit. And so they're a really nice neutral shoe. Um, with this pointy toe and this kitten heel. And so that was big old bonus points for this. And then likewise with this pair, and I can't wait to run comps on them. I hope I can find something that's current. Um, this is kind of my favorite go-to sandal for summer. Um, these are called... Um, Chocolate blue. I should get those on the right side here. <laughs> but again, these um, are really nice with the skin tone, so they don't uh, direct your eye right down to your feet. I, I have a thing about um, shoes detracting from the overall look of your outfit. So, um, Personally, I think that your shoes should just elevate you, make your legs look good, and and uh, um, and then exist, and then be comfortable, huh? So let me move this back a bit. I just want you to notice how um, what a nice color they are with the skin tone. Because I wouldn't wear these shoes with this outfit. But um, they're really, um, while they are a, a gold or a maize color, um, they they uh, they are like a skin tone or a nude when you're when you're from a distance. So kind of cool those. 
And then I'll show you these ones. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on <laughs> just cause they're so fun. <laughs> I haven't put them on with this outfit and I would probably never ever in a million years wear them together. But this is the magic of video. <laughs> This is where I get to play with this stuff. I'm really pretty conservative in my my style uh, at home. And so, <laughs> in my leggings and my white t-shirt. Okay, foot, go in there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So I had them on with cropped leggings yesterday and a t-shirt and I, they look just summery to me. I don't know why, <laughs> but these are from Catherine Malandrino and uh, they maybe been worn once. And I like this kind of sculptured wedge heel. So we'll get you a price point on those. Um, so that was kind of fun with that stuff. A um, couple more pieces. So again, this is another piece doesn't have a tag inside of it. So I don't know if it's a men's shirt or if it's a women's shirt. I grabbed it because I love this popover style. And, um, and the wonderful fabrication. Now I wish you could reach out and feel how good that this feels. Um, not really sure what it is. It's a cotton blend of some sort but it has something kind of drapey in it. So I kind of don't know, or it might have linen in it. But without any tags, I can only guess. Now, technically I got this for my husband, but <laughs> I might commandeer it. So let me show you a couple other things I got for him. He wanted some um, jeans that he could uh, work in. And uh, so of course you can work in these wonderfully ripped up Levi's with a button fly. <laughs> and um, this gorgeous shirt is from Yves Saint Laurent. And I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work on the collar. It has some um, soil there, but this is absolutely gorgeous, lightweight fabrication. Oh, cotton and polyester. So we'll see what the comps run on this. Gorgeous color. And this is a piece that didn't work out, dang it. <laughs> These are from Ocean Pacific. And they looked like a skirt. <laughs> they were, the, the legs are so baggy. Um, them that, so they were a fail. I got um, some wonderful hanky-panky lingerie, which these run $15 a pair. I'm not too proud. I have great confidence in my washing machine. <laughs> um, this is a sweet off the shoulder bralette. And this is from Free People. And this is another cami bra. Oh, this is from Target. So no great shakes, but it's very cute, pretty. There we go. It'll look nice peeking out from something. And I got a pair of boy short shapewear. Um, they're big enough that they don't really shape much of anything. <laughs> but I got them um, to wear underneath uh, things uh, that are sheer. And so I wanted to have something that had a little bit of coverage that I could wear under dresses that, um, uh, so I, yeah. And, Boy, I'm running out of stuff. 
So let's get another outfit on and then conclude. This is just a really pretty, easy cami top from Express. And it has uh, this is straps in the back. And uh, I just love this color. I think it'll be just a nice layering piece. And I can't decide whether I should put this on and show it to you or not. Speaking of shapewear, this is going to suck it all in. Just what I need. You know, I always talk about my thick waist. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to cinch it all in. This is from Honey Love. And uh, it's new with tags. And uh, it says, warning, zip slowly and hold zipper away from skin. Yes, as anybody who has ever zipped their midsection into a zipper before. <laughs> this is the Waste Hero Cincher. Super waist definition. Powerful waist sculpting. <laughs> Surprisingly comfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> Two more pieces here. We've got some outerwear that I want to show you. And uh, my newest thing that I really like, and especially because I live in Seattle, um, and actually have use for this garment. Um, it's called Reigns. And it is, uh, gee, a raincoat. Now, I think this is a men's. It's a small medium, and I think it's a men's because of where it snaps up. But I'm okay with it where it is. Um, a couple of trips ago, I got one of these in a kind of a dusty aqua color. And I think it is a women's one. So husband will get one. I will get one. And they can go to Alaska with us. Now, this is one of the favorite things I got. Um, I did run a comp on this. It's a brand called Frank and Oak. And it's a $128 jean jacket. And I certainly own enough jean jackets. I could start my own store, I think. <laughs> but I was immediately drawn to this lovely violet-y color, lilac -y color. So... Definitely a keeper. Um, I think it makes it stand out a bit from uh, the sea of denim jackets. <laughs> Love it. This is a female cut as well. So we'll keep this. Jean jackets are great for our climate as well when it isn't raining. <laughs> okay, I want to show you this sweet top. This is from Zara, This and the, the brand is TRF. And it is definitely um, a sheer piece in certain areas. Um, I think I would wear a cami, maybe a, a bralette or a cami underneath this. Um, but it's got enough fullness through here that I think it's fine. Um, and actually it's okay with just the regular undergarment under it. Um, but anyway, I liked it. I'm kind of, uh, infatuated with this color right now. <laughs> so while it is really pretty baby dollish, um, and I have to say it probably doesn't look that great on me, <laughs> but here it is. So I actually like this piece a lot, and um, I think this was a pretty good score. This is also from Zara, and um, it's this lovely eyelet, um, kind of Victorian look. And uh, I couldn't reach around to get it completely zipped up, so, um, but uh, you'll see that it's got a bit of a cropped length and more of the ruffles running down the back. 
so it's good. No. <laughs> so, and I paired it up with this awesome pair of seven jeans. And these are some of the newer ones um, that have the newer label and the Lux designation. Um, these are a uh, high to mid rise straight leg. So, and I kind of like seeing that seven squiggle going across the back again. So super comfy, good fit. Okay, you guys, this is my last piece. And um, this is from Urban Outfitters. And as you see, it's my very favorite off the shoulder top. And you could take the, uh, the straps and tuck them in, which I like, uh, because there's a nice bit of elastic across the top of this. It's really nice. And again, um, some of these brands do a super good job on these off the shoulder pieces where they're, where they stay put, dang it. <laughs> so this is cropped. And, um, I would probably, in my real life, wear them with a pair of jeans that had a higher higher rise here. Um, and this is um, embroidered. So, kind of pretty. So there you have it, my friends. This is uh, my, la my uh, latest trip to the bins and um, uh, I'm pretty sure that my uh, my uh, subscribe button is there. We'll see. <laughs> it's probably over there. <laughs> and and uh, check out my other videos. Um... <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and and uh, like. Bye now.